So today's video was going to be a bigger one. We're going to have to wait for that one because it's long. I've got stuff to watch and I can't do that tonight. So I'm going to do it tomorrow after work, just so you all know. So today's video is going to be another delve into Facebook social justice because believe me, this short and precise way that they make videos on there is just great for me because I could just make a quick video showing how dumb it is for all of you and we can all move on with our lives because there's not too much cringe crammed in there for us to, you know, just drink bleach together with. So today's one is about how students are using gender neutral pronouns, you know, the usual ones, I don't need to tell you. And these gender neutral pronouns are these students, because as we know, students are the future and the students are the ones that give us all the change in the world and all the change is great, of course. And this is why we should use gender neutral pronouns, not just as teachers and lecturers, but the whole world, because change is great, right? Hey, hey. Well, rather than just let me explain the video to you, let's watch and see for ourselves what they believe and what they think. So, take it away. Yes, it is that cringy. Yes, that is a guy just, you know, expressing himself in a more feminine way, more effeminate way, of course. He looks nothing like what a third gender or a third sex would potentially look like, so why would he need new pronouns exactly? But yeah, students are using gender neutral pronouns, but they make it look like as if all students are using gender neutral pronouns, and believe me, they're not. This is the minority of social justice warrior type uh, students who are, of course, using this unironically and very seriously, and these are the people who are the loudest, therefore, these people assume that this must be all students, even though it isn't. But of course, these are the very students that, as you'll soon see, run everything other than the actual universities themselves. So they get to dictate, and for some reason the universities allow them to, dictate what we can and cannot refer to different people as. And this is just ridiculous. But I just like how it's students. Students of the future, therefore we should follow their example, even though they've done nothing to suggest that we should. And just facilitating people's feelings because they want to be a certain thing that doesn't exist because that gives them brownie points, oppression points. Yeah, that's a good way to really help the young of the world here, yeah. the future, yeah. Oh well, let's move on. Ah yeah, you see, encouraged. It's not like they're being forced. It's not like they have to do this to facilitate these idiots' feelings because these people have somehow convinced the university and, as you'll soon see, the students' union, who are... Ugh, well, you'll soon see about that. But these people need to be, you know, facilitated. These people need to have their pronouns uh, referred to because, well, it's offensive. I mean, how can you be offensive to something that doesn't actually exist? These people aren't transitioning. They aren't transgender or transsexual, which is the same thing. Uh, they're not anybody who has any kind of issue with their gender or sexuality or anything like that. These people most likely aren't even LGBT at all, yet they're being facilitated in favour of actually those people who actually probably do need something like this, although less of a case than perhaps I'm suggesting. <laughs> Notice how these gender non-binary types always actually try to look like one rather than the other or both or something completely different. Notice that. And yeah, we don't need guidelines for this shit. They never needed guidelines for this shit. The Students' Union, you may think they're this big, all-powerful thing that everybody agrees with. No, most people dislike the Students' Union. I particularly dislike them. The only thing that we really like them for doing is giving us these cards that allow us to have student discounts in pubs and cinemas and shit like that. I mean, really, that's all they're useful for. They don't really speak to all students. They don't speak for all of us. And they're just a pain in the ass. I mean, they've even got a leader, I don't know if she's still the leader right now, who is an anti-Semite. Yet, people criticising her for her racist views are the racists. Also, little did you know that she's some Asian woman, or Arab woman, who is somehow, at least in her university at the time, was the leader of the Black Student Society. Yeah, um, she wasn't actually black, but somehow she became the leader of that. But uh, what do I know? Yeah, we never needed guidelines for people to refer to themselves in any way that they want, but now they've made this an issue and have issued guidelines. It's like the, the transgender toilets thing. People have been able to do that for years without this guidelines crap, yet people make it a big issue when it's not. 
and now it is an issue. It's just pointless. <laughs> Leading LGBT campaigners, right? Yeah, no names referenced. And we know that some of them do encourage this shit, we know, but they can't even find someone to say, yes, we approve of this message. But the fact that it is being accepted by these campaigners shows how far down the rabbit hole these people have gone, how far gone they are. I mean, they're actually promoting these people who have no issues whatsoever over the people who do have issues and need help. This is the issue with you people and this is why you're getting shit from the crazies which is in turn making the normies go oh shit they might actually have a point. Because as we know the patients must run the asylum not the doctors. Before I answer the point, I love how they make it out like as if men wearing makeup and wearing these types of clothes is a new thing. Do they remember the 80s? Do they remember the 70s? Do they remember actually any culture where men have worn makeup or worn something that might be regarded as feminine nowadays? Do they remember any of this crap? You know, glam rock, glam metal? This isn't new. This isn't something that is unheard of. This doesn't make this person non-binary, it just makes them a man wearing makeup and female type clothes. But to answer the point, it's not just spread in Cambridge, it's spread everywhere. But it's just students using it at the moment and they hope their teachers do it as well. And as we know people, if it's spread in universities, therefore it must trickle down. But this doesn't make it a good thing and the fact they're referring to themselves like this in speeches where it's not necessarily relevant unless it is about gender, it's just stupid. They're making an issue out of a non-issue. They always do this because they need those oppression points because they need to feel these stupid emotions because they think it's cool and that's what's the issue with it. Because we finally force the students to use it, let's force the world, let's facilitate these special snowflakes who have no issues whatsoever, who are just pretending to be oppressed, pretending to be particular groups that don't exist because they want the attention. Let's facilitate these people. That's a surefire way of making society a worse place. No, wait, no, wait, a better place. I must respect them, of course. Anyway, people, that's the end of the video. Like and share the video, subscribe to my channel, donate to my Patreon. Until next time, I'll see you all later. <laughs>